what is up guys so I just got done watching the season premiere of Gotham and I gotta say that is one epic premiere I mean it surpassed the pilot episode in my opinion personally it is way better than a way better start than its first season and I did like the, how the first season started with its pilot episode but I love this season premiere I mean it is great you get an idea that villains are definitely on the rise I mean like you figure you, you figured it was gonna happen like or, or I thought it was gonna happen like maybe in episode three or four but no I mean they jump right into that whole you know the villains will rise um, um, reference you know that they kept referencing in the promos so and um you know how um uh how they you know managed to you know get smuggled out of Arkham Asylum at the end of the episode and um I also enjoyed seeing Gordon um conflicting with with uh, making the wrong decisions you know where he's going where he's torn between being the man that he that he is that he wants to be and between the man that he can be to, um, to, to achieve what he what he wants you know you know be, you know just being a detective and he had to go to extreme measures to, um, for that in order to make that happen I mean you know he went to um, he went to uh, the penguin of all people who is now running Gotham or the Gotham's mob um, basically taking over Falcone's position um, comes to him you know um, asking him for a favor to help him be, you know become a detective again and and then penguin says he needs to help you know he needs a favor from him as well you know and um because not a lot of people are happy about him you know running things so he wants gordon to go confront one of you know one of these individuals who, uh, who refuses to give him any respect whatsoever and then um that didn't turn out so good you know for the other guy i mean uh, gordon uh, ended up you know gunning this guy down which goes completely against, you know, Gordon's code of honor, and it was that was really interesting to see him, see, you know, that, see his um, compass, you know, switch the other way. I mean, if that makes any sense. I mean, you get what I'm saying. And um, I mean, before that, he went to see Bruce and told him that yes, I mean, I was fired from, you know, the, I was fired from my job and. Um, I'm not going to be able to fulfill the promise that I made to you, and um, and Bruce basically gave him some strong, some pretty intense advice on that. Um, you know, you just do what you gotta do to you know to get back into the game, and um, that's crazy. <laughs> that is that is you know crazy. Like how I think I think it was mainly Bruce who um, in you know basically gave him that. I guess that that motivation you know to go ahead and do this and get himself back into being a, a detective again and um and it's funny like um you know um penguin and zaz you know goes to um commissioner Loeb, you know and they threaten they threaten to kill him if he doesn't you know retire and um and that and i found that pretty funny because i always thought the character commissioner Loeb alone was a dick you know even in the Dark Knight trilogy. I thought he was an asshole. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't stand him. And um, so yeah, um, it was really weird um, seeing him played by a white guy and <laughs> on on Gotham. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he was originally black. I don't know. Feel free to tell me. You know if he was, but it does not that it really matters. <laughs> but and it's an interesting journey that Barbara is on. I mean, like you know, she is literally on the dark side right now. I mean. I mean, like her, um, what she's, her situation from um, near the end of season one put, you know, pushed her down that rabbit hole, and I think she's like, I think she hit the bottom of that rabbit hole. I mean, literally, and I don't see how she can possibly find her way back from that. I don't see how her and Gordon are gonna come become an item, and, and she becomes Mrs. Gordon. I don't see how that any of that's gonna happen. I mean, it looks like. It looks like that may never happen. <laughs> I mean, but it is interesting to see her, you know, take that unfortunate turn in her life. And, um, 
And it looks like we're going to see the Joker quite a bit this season. Oh, pfft, I'm sorry, Jerome. I'm sorry. And it looks like we're going to see quite... We're going to see him quite a bit in this season. I'm looking forward to seeing what he brings to the table this time around. You know, because people love the Joker. I mean, Joker is like the most loved, you know, villain in in comic book history. And, or if not, you know, in Batman's history. But, um, yeah. And and that was really funny how, um, how um, the you know, all the inmates of, of Arkham got smuggled out of there. And it, and it was almost like the same way of the Dark Knight of how the Joker got out out of um, police custody, you know, where the, where they had this big bloated guy and you know in the in the um in the prison cell, and he's like, oh my inside hurts, <laughs> it will light up like Christmas, <laughs> and um <laughs> and then boof, there was like a detonator, there was like a like a bomb that was placed into his cell phone and it's in his stomach and then it just goes, <laughs> but in this one um. You know, this inmate, who, you know, this villain who calls himself Zardon or whatever. You know, it's all like, oh, I'm going to rip your soul apart. I'm the soul weaver. Blah. And then he passes out and then all this gas comes out of his mouth and it makes all the inmates pass out. And then, and then they get broke, broken out. <laughs> and it, a little similarities there to the Dark Knight. But, um, and, and then who, um, who orchestrated this little heist was, um, Theo Gallivan, who is probably going to be a, a major villain this season. And, um, I'm really interested to see what he's about because it's like, okay, I mean, either you're in or you're out, and there's only one way out. And he showed one of the inmates that, and poof! So, yeah. And Bruce, you know, went to, you know, was determined to break up in the back cave and um, he finally did it and then he saw a note from his father and tell him that um, you can't have both uh, happiness and, and the truth and I hope I mean please you know choose happiness unless you see a calling a true calling <laughs> so that that was a pretty powerful message for him so we all know he's gonna choose truth even though he wants happiness but he knows that truth is you know, is what he's destined for. And that's what pushes him to become the hero that Gotham really needs. And I hope to see, well, be, okay, before I get into that, this episode is a, it's just gonna be a fucking eight and a half, or maybe a solid nine out of one in 10. Yeah, a solid nine. Yes, solid numbers. Mm-hmm. So, I hope at some point this season, you know, they start to push Gordon away from the spotlight a little bit and then they start to move Bruce more towards into that spotlight because it's like, it's, you know, it's his story that drives, you know, that get that gets our attention. Like what, you know, what helped, what, and like what motivates him to evolve into Batman. And, um, and that was really, that was like my favorite, one of my favorite parts of Batman Begins. And it's gonna be interesting to see where they go with Bruce, you know, on this on the show, if if, if, they, if they keep up, you know, the success and it keeps going from season three and four, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and um, yeah, yeah, and um, also um, it's gonna be a little, a little bit of a bummer for the Penguin to be sort of away from the spotlight, like how he was in season one. I mean, what he did for that show is what Michael Rosenbaum did for um, Smallville, you know, in my opinion. No, um, um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's amazing. So I hope we don't see that, that very little of him. I mean, I hope we, you know, can, we can, they can balance it out somehow. So I'm trying to think of what else I missed on this episode. Ah, oh, man, this was so fucking good. Ah, <laughs> oh. and you can tell I was ready for it. You can tell I was ready for it. Yes. <laughs> and, um. I think that's about it. That was a great episode. That was a great, you know, starter in the sec, you know, for its second season. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next down the road. And um, oh yeah, it looks like uh, um, Gordon's former partner Bullock is stepping, is keeping away from the, um, being a being a detective. But I don't see that going too well for him in the near future. I, I think he's gonna have to switch back over at some point. I mean, that's just me. Um, I, I think he will. So, I mean, time will tell. Time will tell. 
So yeah, that's my review of um, the season premiere of Gotham. I mean, if you liked my review, thumb up the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos to come, baby. And until next time, Nerdy Blazion is signing out. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>